Daddy's boy. Daddy's boy. It's done. It's done. Stand like your daddy. Stand like, like your daddy. daddy. <laughs> da, da, da. Hi guys, my name is Gabe. And it's Casey. And this is Nene. Welcome to our vlog. So today we're gonna do a car vlog, which is gonna be painting a car. Yeah. Many people will say, why would you red can your car? Well, I'm gonna red can my car using this spray can. And then you comment below and tell me what you think. Start the tools and the product I'm gonna be using that you can easily obtain without using professional tools so this is gonna be the paint of the car that I'm gonna be spraying on this is for the wheels and I believe I have a paint stripper which is a two-minute remover advance and I also use electric trickle tape to mask my headlights and all the things that I'm not trying to be sprayed on and this is 100 grit Diablo sandpaper and these are well screwdriver that I mix my body filler with the hardener but the hardener comes with the bundle package and and they normally found inside of the dome in which oh I found it in front of inside the dome right here so when you shake it you can hear it that's in there as you can see here, I already masked my headlights instead of removing it because cars like these sometimes are hard to remove the headlight. They have bolts right here attached to this bracket down it right underneath the bumper and many times the bumper tabs will break and that's the thing I'm trying to avoid and I just open it just to prove my own point that is the best and sufficient solution to get things quicker. Remove parts that are easily be taken out, such as this. So this way I will not overspray that part and it will have a nice cleaner result. Hi Casey. Hi Nene. So I use that sander to sand down this body filler here and take a look at the result. It's pretty nice. So what you try to do is when you do the body filler, you try to make it smooth and even to the body itself. There is rust going through this body. And what I use to send it down is that I do not use the sander. I use my own hand and then do it manually, scratch it down like this. So I will not sand down too deeply. Check out this tail light. I kind of dig in this tail light. It looks pretty cool. And like I said, you it's know. Giving I, me Batman vibes. Batman vibes. <laughs> Say that again. Batman vibes. It's giving me Batman vibes. Dark Knight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the bracket here is right underneath the bumper and I feel like that's gonna be time consuming to take out therefore I just mask it with the tape now the reason why I use electrical tape is that once I'm done with this project that I can easily just peel it all in one take and it will be nice and clean instead of the blue masking tape in which it's gonna leave residues and I'm not in the mood to clean a headlight or tail light first like a cowl here and I don't know where this is extra screw here and wipers I'm gonna have to repaint this anyways they look really worn and tired and well they just look ugly so therefore I'm not gonna mask it because I'm gonna have to spray it black anyways in which I'm gonna use matte black color for that one and the gloss black is for the wheels obviously this wheels is also tired and worn out and I'm gonna use the paint stripper to strip out the paint down to the bare metal and if there's any residue or paint left to it I'm gonna have to send it down so this is the reason why I use electrical tape check it out it's much more easier to remove than the blue masking tape you can just have like one peel remove and it all come off easily look at that bad boy okay now try it down Nice and easy. Uh, come on, tape. Oops, crap. See? It's easy, right? <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Really? <laughs> Bro, you're almost halfway there. Here, Michelle, see? You're almost done. Here, continue the top one. 
Oh yeah, let's meet. Mm, you can get paid quarter. Let's meet up. Yay! Yeah. Good job, Michelle. Good job. Thanks. See, that was easy. Even a kid can do it. How old are you, Michelle? Six. Six. So a six years old can pull it off. She said six. This year. Well, she's five. See, it wasn't hard. Try this product. I give it two minutes. It doesn't work. I give it fifteen minutes. Still doesn't work. There is this little thing that works, but that's about it. Everything else has been like this before and it was corroded. So, what I decided to do is just to send it down to go old fashioned way. You know, if it's not broken, why fix it? Daddy, 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 Chase mommy, chase mommy. Grab pull out the tarp. Pull out the who? The tarp. Dude, this kind of project is good to have a tarp. This. Therefore, you don't make too much mess on your driveway. You can just like roll it up and have it clean right away. Yeah. The final product, I still need to paint the grill overspray. What do you think, baby? What do you think? This looks amazing. It does? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Right. I mean, some part of it is like a little bit um, different than the entire body because I have to redo them. Beautiful, and then you put Thank the you. side skirt towards. This is gonna be like the best part out there on the market. <laughs> I'm hyping Thanks. it up, but you did good. You're hyping way too. <laughs> Make me eye. blush. Make me yeah, blush. it looks totally different in my eyes. <laughs> Take a look at this. That's pretty it good. Yep, side skirt sewing, clean out the car, vacuum it out. You got yourself a brand new car. <laughs> Well, I still need to like uh, buff the headlight, I guess, to make it nicer, but yeah. This is what I can do in a day worth. Well, two days worth, actually. This is my second day. Because uh, thanks to the rain weather, I have to rush things out a little bit. Oh, well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we're signing out. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.